Right, I am going to show you how to put a skin in game from your PSD. So you're going to open up your skin you have on Photoshop. So I'm just going to go to a Estiva Merc Saloon. Right, so mine's here. Skin always. It's easier to name it like this because you can just save it and you don't have to rename it. I'm going to actually get rid of this one for now. Open this up, give it a second for Photoshop to load. Right, so my skin's there already done. I did it a while ago. Right, so I want to save it as. So you can either save as. You go to your save as type. You want to go Targa, T G A. You want to name it skin, whatever your number is, underscore C5. So mine's 25 underscore C5. I'll save it. Uh, this should be 24 bits slash pixels, the middle one. Click OK. Right, so we don't need this anymore. We don't need Photoshop at all anymore. We minimize that. So we have the C5 here. So we want to open up our skin pack which we have you can go download my uh, template for a skin pack on the workshop it's just called what's it called here it is called if I go to workshop items where is it yeah there you go I'll put a link in the description for it it's easy enough just download it Copy it to your mods folder. There's a video on my YouTube about how to do that to make set up your own skin pack. You should always put your skins in a skin, your own skin pack, not in the mod, because when you go to play online, if you mess one of the files up, you won't be able to join any servers, and it will give you a bunch of errors, and then you'll get stuck, and you have to redownload the whole mod, and you get into a kerfuffle. Right, so you can do that. I done. As I made it, it would just be like this. You copy it over, you have data, vehicle, and you have all the cars. And also, all the, in this skin pack is all the templates. So I'm pretty sure if there's any missing, please let me know because I haven't actually checked in a while. I can imagine there's probably one or two missing here and there. But I'm going to put it in my skin pack because I want to test it on mine. And so I'm going to go vehicle, then I go to the W210S. Right, so I'm going to put my TGA in there. Right, now I need to open up. So I want to go find my Steam apps folder. So have so you installed Steam. See, I've got Steam on multiple drives. So G, but I know it's I know it's installed on F. You would usually go Steam, Steam apps, common, and then it will say rep fester. But I need to go to F and go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Rep Fester's at the bottom here. Right, now I want to go to Tools. So I felt Tools, and you want to drag this C5 over Build Asset. Give it a second, it will take a while, but it's converting that C5 TGA file to a BMAP. So that will give you a basically a skin, but if you were to put it in like that, it wouldn't do anything. The game wouldn't see it because you need a Viper, which is also in that skin pack template I have. You can also, if you go back from tools to Retfest, go to mods, that's where you'll put the skin pack you get. You can quickly go into vehicle, go find the 210s which I'm using part paint and you need a Viper a Viper in a Viper it should point to so I need to go back here art part paint paste it in here name this to my number which is 25 open the Viper up and it's opened up on another monitor but if you cannot open this up and it just has a random file and you can't see this little uh, symbol, you want to right click, open with, choose another app. And you want to go more apps, where is it? Look 
for another app on this PC. You click that. Yeah. Right, now you want to go back to Steam Apps. So you want to go to your wherever Retfest is installed. C Drive, F Drive, wherever it is. Mine's on my F Drive, so I go there. I go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Retfest. And then you want to go to Bag Edit. You double click Bag Edit and you double click this Bag Edit Community. And then it will fix. So anything that's dot .vipa, you can open with a, well, just with bag edit. Bag edit looks like this. So I open it up. This is what bag edit looks like. So this is a weights. You shouldn't, this won't help you any of this stuff. You can't really do anything down here. You just want to, I mean, you could put your name if you're just sending it to somebody. Description doesn't really matter anymore. Display order is I would usually put my number so how say if there's under 100 skins in this can go away You want final stock final default stock so you see texture rename this rename to your skin Whatever your c5 is which was that TGA we can back to a bmap We want to go here we want to do skin 25 we'll get rid of the other stuff so it says, it says skin 25 underscore c5 that's done don't need to touch that again we go file save right so theoretically right now we can see our car in game but we need to make it to make it less awful and shiny and weird we need an n and an s file which see as these other cars have in my skin pack so this is boise's n and s uh my dad woody's and this so I need to get an NS that you should easily be able to go right if you go back to where Retfest is installed I've got this all in a shortcut which is definitely helpful and go straight to mods so instead of going steam apps common Retfest you want to go Steam Apps, so you got your Steam Library, you go Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, and then you've got a bunch of numbers, or well, I do at least, because I've loaded a bunch of games. You want to find that 228380, I think it's this one here, yes, I think it's this one. Right, and then you've got everything you've ever downloaded from the Steam Workshop, that's all their special IDs. Sam's mod ends in four five two four five, and it's usually a small mod, so it's this one here. I can tell. Whereas the later the the later people upload the mod, the bigger the number at the end, basically. So Sam's ends in forty five. We open that up. We go data. We go vehicle. You want to go to the vehicle you're painting. So I'm doing a two ten s. I go two ten s. I go art, and then I would find either skin blank that's usually the one I would use I would use the skin of blank N and S so highlight both of them copy them we can minimize this put this into our skin back paste it in there and then we put our number where it says blank so it says our number then we would launch the game and I'll launch the game now to see if it has worked theoretically I've done everything right and I should be able to just launch the game. I might have to put the skin pack on. But let's see. I will be back once it's loaded. You should have your skin pack on. I will show you my mods. So I've got the normal four. You hit your ovals because it's track pack. Carnage track pack. Online bangers track pack repaired. And then the skin pack should always be underneath the banger mod. Or underneath the Mondeo mod should it always be last out of the ones you've got selected unless it's like a force feedback mod which that doesn't matter where it goes I've got one down all the way down here right so we go back we'll go to the 210s and we will check to see if it's got a skin on it right, so colors 
So this is which one's this? Probably a glad. This is probably. Oh, so here we go. It's right there. All done. Skin in game. Ready to look at. But you can't just send. You can't just uh, get those files that we made and copy them and send them to whoever. Right. So if I shut down the game, down the game. Pardon me. If I shut down the game. Right, so, yes, yeah, so if we sent them to somebody right now and they went in a skin pack for your racing in a league or whatever and you were to hit somebody right now, the car would, when it gets damaged, it would go pink. So, we need damage files. As you can see, Boise's one here has three damage files, which is a N, S, and a C5. For this, it is as simple as getting all three of these files so your your three files copying them paste so you have three more get delete where it says copy so you have skin underscore right so you want skin 25 underscore dam aged and you want to do with that all the ones that says copy Right, now, say if you wanted to send this to somebody on whatever, say I know a league, I would make a new thing, call it what it is, so W210S, I would put my art folder in here, and a part, so in art, this, 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 and this. So your six files, you can copy them, paste them in there. So you've got three normal files and three damaged files. Okay, so in part, you want to put a folder called paint. And in paint, you want to put your beeper. So I've copied that over. You can't, if it's on your desktop, sometimes it doesn't allow you to change it, so make sure it's already ready to go in your mods folder before you put it on your desktop because sometimes it will just grey out stuff and you won't be able to type or do anything in it as long as it's as long as it's in your mod folder you'll be fine right I can show you right so it's on my desktop I have a thing called win raw so you can go here and add to w210 raw which compresses it into a smaller file. Then I would usually get Google up, go to my drive. And if I was to send this to somebody, I would get the raw file. And if you got your if you got Gmail or whatever else, Google account, drive should just come straight up. And you should just be able to drag the two ten or whatever you called it whatever car you've called it at least drag it over like that give it a second to upload like it is down at the bottom right and then this will create a link that you can send to somebody once it's right so it's finished uploading so it's done so you can see it right here you know, right click get shareable link Right click, get shareable link, control C on the link. So now you would go to your, say your Discord. Uh, I've got Sam's open right here. And say, well, let's go, I don't know. Phone in VBRL. And say I wanted to send it to somebody. I could go skin, where is it? I could send it to them. Not that I know where to send it in this Discord. Submitting skins, unlimited skin submission. All I would do is control V with the link and send it. That's that done. Right, hope that helps with everybody else messaging me saying, can you do this video? So I've done it. Right, 
thank you very much for watching and goodbye.